Hello and welcome to Call of Chemistry. In this video, we will discuss about millimole and milliequivalent and their application. So let's start. If we consider a 50 ml 0.1 molar NaCl solution and we have to express the concentration in millimole, how can we do that? So 50 ml 0.1 molar NaCl solution. Simply multiply the volume and molarity and we get the concentration of in millimole. So 50 ml into 0.1 molar is equal to 5 millimole or such way. Now the question is how can we get millimole by multiplying volume into molarity that is 0.1 molar is basically 1000 ml solution contains 0.1 moles of solute. So, 1 ml solution contains 0.1 by 1000 moles of solute. So, here is it is 0.1 millimole per ml because the volume is per ml, here it is 1 ml, so volume is per ml and it is mole. 0.1 by 1000 is 0.1 millimole per ml. Now, 50 ml into 0.1 millimole upon ml, ml and ml cancel out and we get that 5 millimole. This is how we get millimole by multiplying volume into molarity. Now, what are the application of millimole concept? We will discuss some problem and understand the applications. So, here is the problem that is 30 ml 0.1 molar HCl solution is mixed with 20 ml 0.5 molar HCl solution. What will be the molarity of the resultant solution? So here we solve, try to solve the problem. So 30 ml 0.1 molar HCl solution means 30 ml into 0.1 molar that is 3 millimole. and 20 ml 0.5 molar HCl solution is basically 20 ml into 0.5 molar. So it is 10 millimole. Now What is the total volume? The total volume is 30 plus 20 ml that is 50 ml. Now molarity of the resultant solution will be total millimoles by total volume that is here we get 3 millimole and 10 millimole so total millimole is 10 plus 3 
and total volume is 50 ml and it is millimole and it is ml so it is 0.26 millimole upon ml now we multiply both sides by 1000 and we get that 0.26 mole by liter that is 0.26 molar this is how calculate this is how we calculate the molarity when two solution of different concentrations are mixed and basically we have to we have to multiply the volume and the concentration and get the millimole and now if we have the millimoles now the molarity of the resultant solution will be total millimole by total volume and basically we get that result now we will discuss another problem that is fe2 plus plus cerium 4 plus and we get the product fe3 plus plus c3 plus a vessel contains 25 ml of 0 0.01 molar fe2 plus calculate the molarity of fe3 plus and c3 plus and the unreacted substrate after reaction with 5 ml 0 0.1 molar c4 plus solution so here we write the reaction Fe2 plus plus C4 plus from that we get Fe3 plus plus C3 plus. Initially we have 25 ml 0 0.01 molar Fe2 plus. So here we express it in millimoles. So 25 into 0 0.01 we get that 0.25 millimole and we have given that 5 ml 0 0.01 molar C4 plus solution so here it is 5 ml 0 0.01 molar if we if we express it in millimole it will be 5 into 0 0.01 and it is 0 0.05 millimole now here it comes and a very important a very important concept of limiting reagent we see that we see that millimoles of C4 plus less than millimoles of Fe2 plus. Here you see that that it is for C4 plus we get the millimole 0 0.05 millimole and Fe2 plus 0.25 millimole. Here we see that millimoles of C4 plus is less than millimoles of Fe2 plus. So what what will be the limiting reagent in this reaction? So C4 plus is the limiting reagent now again we write the reaction Fe2 plus for our convenience So here we get that 0.25 millimole initially were present and here cerium 4 plus is 0 0.05 millimole. Now this is limiting reagent and 0 0.05 millimole of Fe2 plus reacts with 0 0.05 millimole of C4 plus to give 0 0.05 millimole of Fe3 plus and C3 plus.
what that it means it means if 0 0.05 millimole of fe2 plus reacts then, then what will be the concentration of unreacted fe2 plus it will be 0 0.25 minus 0 0.05 millimole it is 0.2 millimole and here 0 0.05 millimole is reacted uh, in the reaction 0 0.05 millimole of c4 plus will be reacted then it is 0 millimole after reaction and 0 0.05 millimole of c4 uh, fe3 plus and c3 plus will be formed because 0 0.05 millimole of c4 plus reacts with 0 0.05 millimole of fe2 plus to give 0 0.05 millimole of fe3 plus and 0 0.05 millimole of c3 plus so here the concentration will be 0 0.05 millimole and 0 0.05 millimole so molarity of fe3 plus and c3 plus will be 0 0.05 millimole upon total volume point zero five millimole upon thirty ml because here we take that take twenty five ml of Fe two plus and five ml of C four plus. So total volume is 25 plus 5 ml, so 30 ml. And we see that concentration of Fe3 plus and C3 plus are the same, is 0 0.05 millimole. So molarity of Fe3 plus and C3 plus will be 0 0.05 millimole by total volume. So this is will if you calculate this, it will be 0 0.0016 millimole per ml that is nothing but molar now molarity of unreacted fe2 plus we have to calculate is 0.2 millimole by total volume that is 0.2 millimole by 30 ml so we found that millimole per ml nothing but molar this is how calculate in such a way now we'll discuss about milli equivalent So, suppose 100 ml 0.1 normal HCl solution is there. So, simply multiply the volume and the normality and we will get milli equivalent. So, 100 into 0 0.1 milli equivalent or it is expressed in such a way so it is 
टेन इल इक्वेलेंट नाउ इफ हंड्रेड एम एल पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल एसीएल एंड फिफ्टी एम एल पॉइंट जीरो वन नॉर्मल एसीएल आर मिक्सड then what will be the normality of the new solution basically we mix 100 ml 0.1 normal hcl and 50 ml 0.01 normal hcl what will be the normality of the new solution simply multiply the volume and normality and add them and divide them upon the total volume so normality will be 100 into 0.1 plus 50 into 0.01 by 100 plus 50 and the unit will be normal if we calculate this it will be 10 plus 0.5 by 150 and it will be 0.07 normal now we now we'll discuss about another problem how the problem tells 60 ml of 0.015 molal bscl to solution is there and it is mixed with 40 ml of 0.0125 molal kcl solution After mixing, calculate the molality of BaCl2 and KCl solution. Simply, we can calculate this. So, after mixing, firstly we have to discuss about molality. molality is basically number of moles of solute by mass of solvent in kilogram so in that problem after mixing concentration of BaCl2 solution will be simply multiply the volume in and the molality so we can get that 60 into 0.015 and divide it divide it by the total volume total volume is 60 ml BaCl2 solution and 40 ml KCl solution so total volume will be 60 plus 40 that is molal and it will be 0.009 molal similarly we can calculate the molality of kcl solution for kcl solution molality will be 40 into 0.0125 and the total volume will be same 60 plus 40 molal it will be 0.005 molal so by this i am stopping here if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thank you